Ok, now we are ready to create roughing waterline operation. So in order to do this, I'm uh, currently at the machining tab. I press this drop down uh, at the new operation and uh, choose 3D entry roughing waterline. So by default, we can see that SprutCam has chosen the same tool, tool which we used for the uh, face milling operation. Of course, we need, we need to change it. So in order to change the tool, I press double click on the tool name uh, and I can uh, see now the tool uh, library window. So in order to choose a, a tool for this uh, operation, I will use metric low carbon steel uh, tool library, which has some uh, roughing, uh, roughing tools. So here we also have uh, filters, so we can, for example, filter and uh, see only, if we want to see only cylind cylindrical mill tools, which we have in this library, I will just press here and I can choose cylindrical mills. And now we can see that we can see only cylind cylindrical mills in the, our uh, filtered results. Okay, so I will use <clears throat> 18 millimeter cylindrical mill, so uh, I can toggle uh, tool properties uh, information here with this button. I will not change everything, use the tool as is and select, sorry, press select uh, tool for the operation button. Okay, after that I can press run and I already can see the toolpath. So SpritCam is a very user-friendly software, so in order to calculate the toolpath, you don't need to fill in lots of parameters. So of course we need to tweak this toolpath, but at least you can see the uh, primary result and can decide how we can tweak uh, this toolpath. So currently I will change the step. Uh, so in order to change the machining step in roughing waterline, I need to choose strategy tab and here I have step, very easy. So we can uh, select uh, step, set step as a percentage of the tool diameter or we can select step as in millimeters. So I will choose millimeters, five millimeter step is fine for me. Okay, that's it. I can see that the toolpath has changed. So uh, second thing I want to change here is I want to exclude this area from the machining. So, but before we do this, let's go to simulation and check what we have. So in simulation tab, we have uh, all the same operations and some uh, buttons here for simulation handling. So first of all, here, if I want to simulate some operation, but I have uh, workpiece and it in its initial state I press this little button simulate uh, sorry this one simulate up to current operation and now I will see the workpiece in its state before the current operation starts so now we have we can see that the face milling operation has been uh, simulated and we can see we are ready to simulate uh, roughing was line so I press run increase speed and see what we have okay very nice but uh, of course we will make some tweaks now we, i don't want to machine this area so i will turn off the toolpath visibility to change to check the result so i don't want to, to machine these areas and i don't want to machine this hole uh, with this roughing waterline operation okay very nice so what I will do now is I will show you some buttons here for simulation, uh, simulation management or simulation handling. So what we have here. So if we want to simulate the uh, our our machining program from the beginning, so we need to reset the workpiece, pressing this button, choose the machine and press run. So now we will see the simulation from the beginning. So I will stop it. Uh, uh, by the way, you can see here we have a seal data. So this is uh, this is a control program before post processing. So it uh, is now using SprutCam's internal language. Okay, and 
next next what we have for example if we want to simulate on the current operation uh, we can press this button simulate current operation so we can simulate one by one like this uh, or we can simulate all operations with this button so now we can uh, get see instantly um, can see the result if we don't want to to see the movie machining simulation movie so we can press this button and get the result instantly so that's it so i'm going back to machining and what we need to do is to make a restriction zone so uh and this is leading us to so-called job assignment in sprut cam which is a very very important thing which is used widely in every project so basically uh job assignment i will show where it is so for example for the roughing waterline operation here is job assignment so uh you can see it's empty now uh, why is it empty is that because we don't need to define job assignment for a lot of roughing operations in Sprutcam. In, in that case, Sprutcam is considering a uh, whole part as a job assignment, so it's tr it tries to machine everywhere it can. In many cases, it's, in many cases it works fine. Um, so that's it. it. We made it just to make... Uh, uh, Sprutcam uh, machine machine programming CNC machine programming workflow more streamlined, so and not to make user click a lot of uh, buttons before we get result, which is I think very nice. But if we want to tweak it, it's also absolutely no problem. Uh, for, okay, in I will show you before I make what I need. I will show you how it works. For example. I will turn off the uh, toolpath visibility just to um, see more clear picture. For example, I can select some face and tell Sprutcam that this face is the job assignment. So let's turn off the machine visibility. So now if I press run and turn on the toolpath visibility, I can see that nothing except this face is machined with the roughing waterline operation. So. That's it. That it is how it works. So if I press this face, for example, press run, I can see uh, that this part of the operation, or this surface of the part, is machined with roughing operation, water, uh, roughing waterline operation. Okay. Important thing to know: selecting the job assignment. So first of all, you need to turn on the uh, selection filters, so you can. If you turn it off, you cannot select any object on the screen. If I, for example, turn off, turn on select faces, now I can select only faces. So for the roughing waterline, it's fine. But in many cases, for example, I need to select vertices. You can see here the vertices, here the vertices, or I can select uh, edges. Here, now I can select edges of the uh, part, which is also widely used. So by default, I recommend to turn on everything here. And the second important thing is that in order to select job assignment, you need to turn on geometry model visibility. So you if, you if you have turned it off, you cannot select any object uh, of the part as a job assignment. So turn it on and now you can select the job assignment. So these are the two things to know about job assignment selection. So in my case, I will use restrict zone. Here it is. So I will choose this surface and select restrict zone. So this means that everything which is inside this surface is not machined now. So and press run. And now at simulation, I can see I get the result <clears throat> that I wanted. So that's it.